What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you how to check the voltages on a working plasma TV with the TV turned on and the TV turned off. So you get an idea what kind of voltages you should be getting in your plasma TV. Well, this is a Samsung 50 inch plasma TV. The model number is FPT5084. So if you have that model, then this will be a really great ref um, video reference. But even if you don't have um, this particular model TV, this will give you a general idea what kind of voltages you should be getting to your X sustain board, your Y sustain board, your main logic board, your buffer boards, which are on the outskirts of the TV, and your power board. Now the power board uh, energizes the rest of the TV boards. The sustain boards is what gives you the picture. And the buffer boards scans in the picture. So if you have a black bar, it could be a bad um, IC on a buffer board, a snowy picture, or you have no volume could be a main logic board or video issues too, no power, stuff like that. Many, many issues. This is basically the brains on, in the TV, the main logic board. Uh, the control board is buried back here. Uh, if you have colored lines in the screen, that can be a bad uh, control board. But I'm gonna show you how to check all the voltages, don't worry. I don't do too many plasma TV videos because they're fading out, but I figured, hey, someone probably owns a plasma TV still, right? And they're expensive, they were expensive back then. I'm going to use um, a voltmeter. Any digital voltmeter should work. I'm going to put it in DC mode. And a good ground source would be the chassis of the TV. So let's go ahead and do that. Put our black lead on the chassis of the TV. Now it's just a ground screw hole right here. And then the red, let's go ahead and check the standby voltage. Now the TV's turned on right now. And we're going to check STBY. So we are getting five volts standby voltage right now, and it's pretty steady. So let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys get a better look what kind of voltages you should be getting. And if this voltage was bouncing up or, you know, zero volts to five volts, zero volts to five volts, then you would check your uh, capacitors because capacitors can cause this voltage to bounce around. Um, also, a voltage regulator on your power board can cause this voltage to drop and bounce around as well. So if you're getting clicking on and off or the voltage and jumping around, yeah, check your capacitors basically because they're supposed to stabilize the voltage in your power supply. So our standby voltage going to the main logic board is good and it's steady. So next, we're gonna check our feedback voltage from the main logic board. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna put our, again, black lead on a chassis of the TV. And we're going to put a red lead on the 12 volts. And it says 12 volts right here. All right, so let me find a better ground source. There we go. So we are getting 12 volts and it's steady. Now let's go ahead and turn off the TV. All right, TV's turned off and look at the voltage. It's dropping and it'll go down to zero volts. It's dropping slowly because the capacitors are discharging. That's why you see that voltage drop very slowly. And it'll go down to zero volts. All right, there we go. Now you turn on the TV and when you turn on the TV, you get your 12 volts. So that's how you know that um, part of the main logic board is functioning. Um, there's also a VS on. VS on turns on the sustain board. So let's go ahead and check that signal. So, so right here, VS on, right here. There's your VS on pin voltage, which is 3.3 .3 volts. And with the TV turned off, let's turn off the TV. We got zero volts. Now that is actually not going to the main logic board. That's actually going to the board behind the main logic board. It's buried back here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's it's behind this metal plate right here. It's very hard to get to. But uh, that is the control board, and that lets you know that that particular board is actually functioning. Well, part of the board is functioning, and the 12 volts lets you know that part of this board is functioning, the main logic board is functioning. And the standby voltage lets you know that this part of the board is functioning on the power board. So let's go ahead and check the other voltages going to the sustain boards. Most plasma TVs will have this sticker on them 
on the back plate of the TV, the chassis of the TV. The VA voltage is 57. The VS voltage is 202. All right, so let's go ahead. Those are um, the main voltages you should be getting on your, on your sustain boards. So this is the X sustain board. This is the Y sustain board right here. So let's go ahead and check those voltages. So, all right, so we're gonna turn on the TV. And when you turn on, turn on the TV, that voltage shoots up to 202 DC volts. That voltage is going to power on the sustain board. And the sustain board will give you the picture on your TV. Now, if you still have no picture on your TV, then there's something wrong with one of your sustain boards. And the VS going to the X sustain board, which is that one, is 202 DC volts, and it's steady. So the voltage going to the sustain boards are good. Next, we're gonna check the voltage going to the buffer board down below. And we are getting your 5.3 volts. And then the VA voltage is 64 DC volts. It's a little high. Um, this one is VA volts, it should be around 57, but 64 should be okay. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. That really lets me know that you guys are interested in this, these types of videos. If you want to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one, subscribe right here, click on that subscribe button, or click on the subscribe button down below. If you know anyone that has a broken plasma TV, go ahead and click on the share button below and help someone out. Thanks guys for watching.